Hey everybody. <laughs> Uh, we are back in the shop after a pretty tough weekend overall. So if you haven't seen by now, uh, rolled our wedge trailer and scattered five of our machines across the highway in a real rough fashion. So that was uh, this past Friday. We were headed down to Cletus and Cars. We were going down I-69, stopped to get some fuel. And uh, on the on-ramp in Fort Wayne, just took her with a little too much speed and flopped the entire wedge over. Uh, you know, a lot of factors involved, right? We had heavy, tall machines on the front of the trailer. We had the front of the trailer adjusted all the way up for clearance. We were running like 13 foot, four inches tall. And uh, all those things combined with just a little too much spice around the corner and over she went. Uh, surprised the heck out of me. Feel absolutely terrible about it. Absolutely terrible. Tore our stuff up real bad. We got a bunch of messed up machines. Trailer's okay-ish. Truck is smoked, ripped the bedside off of it terrible terrible deal but immediately after that the support that we've gotten from everybody has made this a heck of a lot better so since that happened we have just the number of messages we've gotten in support we've got new patreons we made our way down to cletus and cars you guys absolutely killed it we sold a ton of merchandise like there was just an absolute rally um you know of all the people involved with the channel and all you guys that have watched and honestly that was great so huge tough break but we went down there we ended up having a great weekend after that and uh we're unfortunately back now to start dealing with the consequences of that wreck on friday but uh yeah i mean for me i just i still feel terrible about it take responsibility for it it sucks but uh, we're gonna get this stuff fixed up because you guys are, are there to support us and we're just gonna keep rolling. So that's basically that. Maybe we'll start the day off on a good note here. The office looks freaking spectacular. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Mike did a great job. It feels like it's twice as big. Yeah, it feels huge and it also smells good, which is shocking considering Milo and Mike was in here. But wow, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that? If you thought the Supra was a tight fit, whatever you had going on behind that office right there, nothing. <laughs> you had no leg room. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. This uh, is a bottle of mustard, dude. He's gonna start screaming about that. Let's yeah. refrigerate it. Yeah, you do need to refrigerate that. It's been out there for seven, eight weeks at this point. But yeah, thanks, Mike Reed. Uh, if you ain't got one in your life, you guys need to find yourself a Mike Reed. It's a cleaning person. <laughs> Yeah, all right, let's unload some stuff. So a lot of people think this one got wrecked. This one, the sound of the power. But no, that, and didn't your truck it. didn't get wrecked. No, there's a whole nother battlefield. This is original, and the one up here is the OG battlefield. So, or no, my bad. This is the two battle two field. Yeah, I'm just, I'm as confused as anybody else here, but uh, it's time to unload these things. It's the, yeah. Why are you grabbing my stomach so hard? I don't, I don't actually enjoy that. How are you feeling? Okay, man. Just laid in bed last night thinking about stuff. Yeah, I started crying yesterday morning, turns out. Hey, I know, dude. See what happens? I leave you in your room by yourself. <laughs> I know, man. You take off one day early. Next thing you know, I'm an emotional wreck. But we got a lot of unloading to do. So the company that picked us up, Parker, mm -hmm. had to leave a strap on the YXZ because it got pinched in place it's when they picked the YXZ the up. Shock. Like the shock is actually part of the strap now. Yeah, so we're trying to get that out so then we could use that to lift the front of 2JP. And I think we're gonna try to basically move this wheel all back in place, strap it up, so we can just drive it off. Oh, That's roll it off. That's a good idea. somewhat of the hero maneuver here, you know? Oh, hero maneuver. You don't think the oyster will take care of this, dude? Nah, it's just not wide enough. Well, step one is to get 2JP off the back of this trailer. I am pretty sure we're just gonna pick the front up, shift that tire over, like I said, and we're gonna roll this beast down. I hope so, man. Uh, if not, it's gonna suck. I There's a potential the frame is bent in the front, so. so? Yeah, when it was on its side, I was seeing some things I didn't like. I saw a lot of things I didn't like that day, but on top of that, the. That was up there. Yeah, the, the frame being cooked was also one of them. What do you boys think? A little jam. Man, don't scratch the rim. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can fold this plastic. Oh. <laughs> Let's go get the welder and weld that up quick. Yeah, do, new, man. I think Shugu on, would do it. Yeah, but we have to wait like 30 minutes for it to set. Uh, that's not, yeah, it's, hours for it to harden. yeah, that's too much right. time. Yeah, too much time. <laughs> 
So we got some timber tools. Big pipe. Oh wow, look at that. It's just a little piece of pipe, you know. What is this, a Duramax? <laughs> so leave that tire rod. Yeah, that right tire is pointed like inwards a lot. Let's give it a little push over that. <laughs> it's going. Uh. We still got a chalk in the back. I got, got it. Okay. <laughs> this is the longest wheelie you've ever done, man. That's sweet. <laughs> Was that a Duramax? Freaking tie rods all freaking bent in. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Come on, it's our hoister, dude. What are you? I was bound in a bad spot. Adding insult to injury, brother. Come on. I like how the coffins took more damage from that one second of Frankie scraping than rolling it on the highway. Yeah. Hey, what's a forklift paint job in the grand scheme of everything? That's a good point. <laughs> well, you don't see that every day. Yeah, that's a weird one. <laughs> Yikes. How'd it feel? Oh, that was good. Parking brake works great. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, well, I think 2J ideally isn't too bad so under here is the biggest concern if this front subframe is bent that's going to be really tough if it's not bent and it's just the control arm over here we'll be doing very 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 good and you guys hated the cage anyway right that was already planned to be rebuilt so that's no big deal it held up good honestly yeah so happy to see that but we wanted to build a lower one anyways so the force it takes to pinch a 120 wall dom tube has got to be astronomical she hit hard right there yep hard but the rest of it held up great door bars look good they're all straight yeah this crossbar in here totally straight all these totally straight I plus think, i mean we did drive it off the trailer cleaners and cars i didn't get that on video unfortunately yeah, i but. think this one's the easiest fix out of the bunch so that's good. A couple plastics, an A-arm, straighten the top, new cage. Not bad. A couple of tubs. How about yours? You want to put gas in this thing now? See if it'll I run? I think that's the right move, yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, this was out of fuel when we loaded it. I thought for sure it was the fuel sender. Turns out maybe it was actually out of fuel. Yeah, I think the gauge was working, right? So we, it, it's been flashing low fuel for a while and then it sat on its side you know out on the highway for i don't know at least an hour so we were thinking maybe yeah. that last little bit of fuel just leaked out the vent That's it. See you later. and uh ideally she'll fire back up and continue to run now please we haven't been living in an ideal world lately so, so yeah I'm mitigating my hopes but didn't think about that part of it cross it with your small finger that way it's can't technically do that. <sighs> watch out for panini presses man you get too hungry you bake your own finger off Please, please, it's Nick. Seuss. Come on now. Come on now. She'll go. I wonder if there's a safety cutoff on these or something we're not aware of. That's what I was thinking. Like a new feature, yeah. But how would it fire? Unless it's just killing the fuel pump or injectors right after it fires. Right. Give it more gas, man. A few minutes later. The front end's scrubbed out so far, it's like basically 64 inches wide with the suspension all the way up. Pretty wild. Man, even the ghoul ran, dude. The ghoul never dies, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the reason the front ends up like this is because when it crashed on the side, the shock shaft bent, and then it the shaft can't retract back into the body of the shock, so it's just jacked up. 
And what you see all there is shock oil and maybe axe boot stuff. Yeah, looks like just shock oil. This side's okay, this side's not okay. Smelled great, by the way, this morning. Thank you very much, dude. I took a chance and I bought some stuff that I'm not used to. It was super cheap. It turns out it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Come on. You got it the back, right? Ah, oh, my foot. So close. Oh. Keep watch going. my rag. Oh. Rick, are you wearing boots? Yeah. Kick the heck out of that thing, dude. All right, I'll give it a shot. Let's get some hold on. All right, Frank. Yeah, thanks, Frank. <laughs> Don't want to wreck that seat. Yeah, yeah totally. This way, hit it from this angle. Oh, you okay. You missed too. What are you no, doing? I felt it in my foot. <laughs> First time he's yelled at anybody for hitting the machine wrong. Weird. I'll put a spring in your step. Huh? Try it again, Rick. Uh, All right. Can I try it again, or are you gonna? Yeah, hit the shock. <laughs> that? That's a shock. <laughs> that was close, actually. <laughs> I think it's moving. Just sit in it, Matt. Where's that big prime car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like the bottom of the cab of the shock blew off. wonder if we did lift it. It's probably not going to go any further. Well, we take it over a huge yeah, jump. This is, this is a, well, and maybe because it's fully extended, the arm is hitting the cup? Or is the bottom of the cup completely... What came first, the arm or the cup? Hard to say. Go ahead, try it. Okay, we reset the uh, ECU. Come on now. Nope. Same thing. <sighs> More diagnosis needed. A little oily, but not bad. Kind of sounds like a rotary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it backfired through the intake. She's still quite, won't quite idle. Did you see that, man? Yeah. It's just shot it dust was, everywhere. Not... <laughs> it's built into it. It's good for the car. Well, strangely, the best machine out of the bunch is Doug's. The wheels are fine. Suspension's a little bit weird looking. Yeah, this wire is ripped off of this uh, shock in the front, so I'm hoping. Oh, it's interesting. It's just got it stuck in full Gone. stiff and. Oh, does. on the one side maybe too. That will fix it. Okay. How the hell did that happen? How did something get in there? Rocks, tall grass, paper, scissors, yeah, yeah. all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, definitely a stake in the grass. Probably bit it when it was under. Big time. I don't know, that left rear is a little bit wonky looking too. Is it gonna catch okay? You're good. Huh. Yeah, so if that one shock in the corner is fully stiff and these other ones are working fine, it's... It definitely feels higher. Like it feels like the machine is just sitting like this, so... I mean, it's still working. It's just probably in crazy high valve mode. Right. You're stuck in there, man. Door frames a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's some little brackets. Signs of foul play yeah, there. A little, you know. Little bracketry. Yeah, that's a frame for sure. It's just all up in that seat. I think my tweeter's okay. So that's good. She'll be tweeting. She'll tweet. No She'll problem. tweet another day. Yeah, this door bracket, though. Wow. The light up top. I mean, the light bar mount thing pretty much survived, except for that. <laughs> we'll just fill her in with a little weld, grind it off. Nick's great at that. Some fresh paint. I love it, dude. Love it. She'd be good. So, took a hit, but you think it's bent? Oh man, we got news on the Pro R. Please. Media sense. I feel like something was leaking, like in a vacuum sense. So maybe Matt had found it. Uh, not 100% sure this is the cause, but the old map sensor got busted. I'm 100% oh. sure that's the cause, buddy. So we might be able to just unplug it and it should run. I guarantee that's the problem. So, how the heck did that happen? Because I think uh, it's the, the, the bed is smashed. Oh, the bed smoked today. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. I'll see if she'll go. She'll go. She'll just run off the math. Just kidding, yeah. there's no math. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Wait, did you 
Did you do that? Oh. <laughs> hey, can you go drive it around for pure entertainment? There ain't no seats in it. There ain't no seats in it, man. Hey, seats taken, dude. Pretty tough to get them back in there, I know. Oh, well, this is a win. Wow. Those CV angles are nuts. <laughs> If the axles weren't broke, they're about to be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's good to go. That's full Baja mode. Yeah, that's big time Baja. <laughs> you can hit any whoop. <laughs> start of our new mud build over there. <laughs> that's what we uh, should do, just bend shock shafts. <laughs> Perfect. Man, the ghoul over there. We haven't really looked at that. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Look how stiff. The front end's full stiff. <laughs> It doesn't turn. <laughs> wow. You hydraulics on that? Yeah. Hey, you got front and back, but no side to side, brother. It's like I'm standing with you guys. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? <laughs> it's so bad. Not good, but you know, not that bad, really. Yeah, I mean, if you crash any one of these in the woods, they'd be in the exact same, maybe worse condition. So yeah, it's know. like we just all crashed at once. Well, in probably the most unfortunate fashion, this was for sale. Uh, I guess, Rick, is this still for sale? I mean, if someone wants to buy it in this condition, I mean, I'll happily sell it for a very discounted price. Um, would I rather sell it together? Yeah, but I would rather see the other machines that are on that trailer get fixed up and get working properly than focus time and attention on this thing, which is pretty much just sat around since it ran over your mom's car, which we can no longer do, which is very unfortunate. I'd like to do that again, but we can't. Yep. Um, so yeah, if someone wants to buy this in this condition, Give him a hard number, dude. 30 grand. That's, that's a, a great deal. That's a super great deal. <laughs> that's a great deal. That's a super great deal. You'll need a new Duneland paddle. One of the best, actually the best paddles ever made. You're gonna need another one of them. Outside of that, you're gonna need a lot of other things too, but. Needs about eight grand hmm. from uh, my estimates. Okay. Cage, steering, plastics, tire, bed to leave. Bed. Radiator, bed delete. It's very easy for a uh, DIY, DIY guy to make this thing rock. Yeah, yep. You can pretty much just watch our videos to find out how to fix it. Just play them in reverse, man. <laughs> yeah, because you're not talking about anything crazy like frame straightening, you know, fabrication. You're just talking about unbolting the stuff that's junk and bolting on new stuff that isn't junk. Right, yeah, and the spots that bend on these are right here, this isn't bent. Right here, this isn't bent. And then up front, where the tabs are for the A-arms, not bent. They're totally fine. And I'm sure the A-arms are still fine too. Those things are tough. Frank and I will deliver it in a Penske too. Whoa. Wow. Wow. In a Hulu outfit. Okay. Frank will do that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But this is sad. Like, we've had yeah. this thing for three years now. Yeah, since 19. And it's just, it's just very sad seeing it like this. Yep. Deserves better than this. YXZ wanted to become a part of this. this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> you know what? Let's make children. But Ooh, the YX3, dude. Let's make one. <laughs> <laughs> YX3. What if there, we took I ask myself that all the time. YX3 and made them into one, dude. I don't know about that. But you got it. Right? <laughs> hey, this one. Uh, anyway, uh, what else we got? The YXZ and then mine, which didn't. Get involved in the crash. Want to get that YZ off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. No. <laughs> and look at this. And the frame is probably cooked on this thing. It's bad. And the way it sits too, like something's going on. It's cars. It's again. I'll say this again. How this car started, did it burn out, and it's still running? 
and not in two pieces like the trailer was on this machine like i thought it was done i thought yeah. the trailer had eaten this and we were just gonna leave it in that truck stop oh yeah now this is where it gets sketchy here with the drive down maybe we'll just watch from this angle <laughs> she made it. She made it, dude. It's so funny how small this thing is compared to everything else. It's so little. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, she runs, she moves, we don't have reverse. Who knows what happened there? Lost that in the burnout contest. Maybe it wasn't even there before the burnout contest. I'm not sure I used it after it fell off the trailer. Frank said it was there. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It runs, it moves, but honestly, there's uh, very little that you can look at on this machine now and say, yeah, that's good. The Motec is good. The dash and the steering wheel are good. Uh, seats. Seats. Gauges. Frames, some gauges, the engine probably. Other than that, I mean, the cage, I don't think it's really bent, but. Yeah, this the part of the frame that the cage attaches to is unfortunately flattened and probably bent, so that really sucks. This was part of this frame was actually bent when we bought it. I had to oh, build this yeah. cage to a bent frame <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the rear of the frame got bent on a river riding trip long ago. The front of the frame got bent when I smashed it into a hole on the original gauntlet, and then the frame got more bent when I rolled a 50 foot wedge on top of, of it. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that Probably last part. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's just it's cold hard, it's cold work. You see this right here, dude? This is That's a new L shock by Fox. This is how they do it. That's like face. Formula One, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, Jump on it. Like... Circle track, dude, you'd be crushing it. Why can't that come out? What do you mean why can't that come out? <laughs> well, we got the bulldog. Maybe just leave it in there for now. <laughs> yeah, it's What's holding it, it in. Right there, wedge together. Oh, oh the Wagsy. The YXZ. From the back, it doesn't look any better, unfortunately. Camber is off. Toe is off. Those axles are still good. Those are good axles, those turners. Are, those are really good axles. We really dropped that motor axles. in. We don't have any other YXZs worth dropping a motor in, so. Golf cart? <laughs> it's not like this is the only broken stuff in the shop. <laughs> I forgot. The whole front of this thing is still cooked. Quit. Wow. A lot All of Taco right. Bell in that belly, dude. Give him a minute. Stop it. Quit. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, that, uh, that's what we got. That's what we're working with. We have a lot of work to do. Some of that work's already actually started. Whoa. Anyway. It's pretty impressive. If you want to see some more stuff like that happen, make sure you subscribe. And as always, we appreciate you guys watching these videos. It uh, allows us to rebuild this uh, this rebuild our life, basically. <laughs> this whole fleet that we have that needs to be rebuilt. On top of the ones that needed to be rebuilt before everything. Yo, dog, I hear you like rebuilding, so we got some stuff to rebuild, so you can rebuild it <laughs> while while you rebuild. Turns this out, is, I think the cage has been on Doug's too. We didn't yeah, mention the that. Cages on Doug's is actually uh, it's Jack's. Yeah, didn't know that. But a little teaser see the shock right here oh yeah it's actually not connected at the we top. didn't realize that as well anyway you'll see that on the battlefield rebuild video anyway didn't we just do one of those like <sighs> oh my gosh you're right <laughs> this is the first time i mean we've come close but this is the first time where there's more broken machines than riding machines by probably double yeah oh yeah Maybe that's bad more. I think I'm just gonna take mine for a cruise just to enjoy this moment while it's still here. Take that home and put it in the garage. Dude. Yeah, that one's running. still good. Shine it up on Sundays, dude. It'll be a nice daily. <laughs> yeah, good call. All right, well, thanks for all your guys' support again. A lot of you reached out to us and said a lot of really nice things. Um, you know, you've been buying parts, buying shirts to help us out and get this stuff fixed. Been buying uh, or been on Patreon and donating. Like that's all yeah. very important to all us. These, all these people. It means a lot. To everyone here this is what we do every day this is 
This is our life. And you guys are keeping us out here doing it. So, we're ready to get this stuff back and it's tip top shape for you guys. And we're ready to, uh. Oh, no. no. I do <laughs> oh, So no. distracting. <laughs> He's so distracted. We're ready to get this stuff fixed and uh, keep running them hard. Everything yep. we got here. It's gonna take a while. Take but a it'll happen. It'll happen. At least Doug's build got done before it got wrecked, you know? That is true, dude. He got to enjoy it a little bit. That's <laughs> true. He's right. <laughs> he's not gonna be here for a week too, don't worry. He's uh he's he's vacationing. He's on vacation. The guy's mind and hair needs a break. So So just calm calm down in the comments. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you know these people, dude. <laughs> How's anything getting done without Doug being there? <laughs> Matt said. Yeah. You got all under control. That is Doug, dude. Look at him. Look at, him. Look at his tiny <laughs> rest, dude. That means he's getting stuff done in a big way. Dude. Oh, Lord. I'm just teasing you, Doug. Okay, see you. All right, bye -bye. See you guys.